There are about 400,000 bears in Canada. That's almost as many bears as Presbyterians. So, while you're enjoying the great outdoors, how do you protect yourself from the 400-pound eating machines who live there? Bears are lazy. They generally don't want to attack you, so bear avoidance technique number one is to make your presence known along the trail so that Mr. or Mrs. Bear can politely slink away without having to meet you. And did those fields in ancient times do 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 This is a can of bear spray. It kicks ass at fending off bears. It's even better than a gun. According to no less than the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, you're twice as likely to be injured if you're fending off bears with a gun instead of this. Frankly, the instances of people being killed by bears despite having bear spray are almost nil. It's not a magic wand to fend off bears, but you're an idiot not to bring bear spray into bear country. And don't leave it in the bottom of your bag like a dope. Spend the $10 to get a holder on your belt. Two other points. Get some friends and hike in a group. Bears hate crowds. In fact, there is no verified North American case of a bear attacking a tight-knit large group of people. And keep your damn dog on a leash. A loose and barking dog can enrage an otherwise calm bear. And once she's done killing your dog, she'll probably come for you. Now on to the hard part. What happens if, despite your precautions, you come upon a bear? Okay, I'm just hiking along here and oh look a bear or something. Our stock photography budget is kind of out of money anyway. But this bear has not noticed me. So while I'm getting my bear spray ready, just in case, I'm going to shuffle away and go hike somewhere else. Oh no, there is a bear who has noticed me. Don't run, ever. A bear can outrun a freaking horse and they love chasing things. If you run, you're toast. So I'm going to face the bear, get my spray ready, and start backing away while waving my arms and talking firmly to indicate I'm a human. Hey bear, I am a human. Right here, don't worry about me, just a human. Certainly not delicious, I have a very poor diet, etc. Nobody likes humans. We're the world's deadliest animal and we invented ska. So you're trying to let the bear know you're not worth the trouble. Now the bear might charge you anyway. A lot of the times these are bluff charges. The bear is just trying to look tough. In that case, stop backing up, stand your ground, keep talking in a firm voice, and if the bear gets within 20 or 30 feet, blast it with the spray. It's not like pepper spraying a mugger. You're creating a cloud of spray between you and the bear that it will have to run through. I'm not saying any of this is easy. You will probably crap your pants. But just know that if you survive a bear encounter with soiled pants, please notify the National Post and we will buy you new pants. Now, what if you get attacked anyway? In that case, you're going to have to know the difference between black bears and grizzly bears. Black bears are smaller and cuter. Grizzly bears have a hump. I'd go into more detail, but you're a Canadian. You should know the difference between bears. Anyway, if a black bear makes contact with you, fight for your life. Gouge it in the eyes, stab it in the chest, club it in the head. Do not play dead with a black bear. But if grizzly bears attack you, by all means play dead. Lay on the ground, cover your neck, and spread your legs. A grizz is probably just attacking you to shut you up, and the attack may be over in a few seconds. One last point. Every so often, humans are the target of a predatory bear attack. This is different than just bumping into one on a trail. This is where a bear has actively stalked you and is probably looking to eat you. If a bear has busted into your cabin or tent, it's a predatory attack. In that particular case, screw all this calm talking BS. It's you versus the bear. Scream, yell, swear, make yourself big and grab any weapon you can. Several people have survived an all out fight with a predatory bear and they've never had to buy their own beer ever again.